When you're working in the model tab here in AutoCAD, you are working in what they call model space. Model space is infinite and goes on forever. The whole idea being is that you draw everything set to your prescribed units full size. So these two lines here would have been drawn full size in AutoCAD, for example. So what we need to think about is how much space we need in the model space to draw something the size that we want it to be. Now, if I take my crosshair right up here towards the top right hand corner of the screen, and you now look down towards the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see my coordinate readout. I've got there roughly 535,278. So that's 535 horizontally in the X direction and 278 vertically in the Y direction, going from 00, zero down here in the bottom left corner. However, I might need a bigger space than that in my model space to draw something that is much, much bigger. How do I change the area that I work in? Well, I could zoom in and out, but the problem is if I keep zooming, can you see that message that comes up at the bottom of the screen? If I keep zooming out, it tells me that I'm already zoomed out as far as possible. So I cannot zoom out any further. However, if I change my drawing limits, I can make the space that I'm working in here bigger. How do I do that? Well, the quickest way to do that is just to type limits like so and press enter. It'll prompt you for the lower left corner of the space that you want to work in. So if I put in there 0, 0, quite literally type it. When you press the comma, it will take you to the Y coordinate box and press enter. If I now put in a bigger value for my upper right corner, let's say something like 5,000 and then a comma, and then 3,000, and then press enter. Now you'll notice nothing has changed on the screen. That's because you need to perform a specific zoom command to zoom to those limits. Now the zoom command that you need is zoom all. Now there's three ways of doing this, at least. If I go to view on the ribbon, and go to the navigate 2D panel, and click on this fly out here, there is zoom all there. So I can do it that way. I'll hit escape. And if I come over here to the right hand side of the screen to the navigation bar and I click on this fly out here, you can see I've got my zoom commands there as well. There's zoom all there as well. Now, if I hit escape, I haven't actually done that zoom all yet. But what I can do is I can type Z, enter for zoom, and then A, enter for all. And you'll notice that things have changed on the screen. My little lines are down here now, right down at the bottom of the screen. That's because if I move my crosshair over here now and look bottom left at my coordinate readout, can you see that the coordinates are much higher? I've got 5706 by 2822, roughly speaking. So those limits now have now been implemented by using the zoom all command. You'll notice now when I zoom in and out using the wheel, I don't get that already zoomed as far as possible down at the bottom on the status bar anymore. I do get it when I zoom right out like that and it's really, really small because I've gone way too far. But I can zoom in now and I've got a lot more scope for zooming and panning because I've given myself more space in the model space by using my drawing limits.